As the nation transitions to cleaner energy sources, solar panels like these are becoming more common in our neighborhoods. I'm first to know meteorologist Riley Winch in northwest Tallahassee, where I'm taking a look at what happens to these solar panels at the end of their life. When the power goes out and the grid goes down, I don't even notice it. That's Bruce Bauman, a Navy veteran here in Tallahassee. He's been solar for 12 years. When he built his home with his wife just over a decade ago, they decided to go solar and save money in the future. And it worked. He told me this past month it only cost him $20 in utilities. When I asked him what his plans were for when the solar panels reached the end of their life, he told me... You don't have to necessarily buy them and in two years recycle them. I mean, they're, they're pretty good investment all in all. This is also the sentiment shared by Bauman solar panel installer Al Simpler, the CEO of Simpler Solar Systems. Recycling right now doesn't look like a booming business, if you yeah. will, because there are not, not many panels that literally need to be recycled. And on the scale of a single household, the waste of going solar is very low. However, when you add up every home and business going solar in this country, especially the ones on solar sites like the one I visited in Suwannee County this past June, the waste problem begins to add up. According to the Environmental Protection Agency, by 2050, the United States is expected to be the country with the second largest number of end-of-life panels in the world, totaling to nearly 10 million tons of waste. Right now, the majority of solar panels here in Tallahassee can be repurposed. Most of the solar panels that are older, uh, they're, they're putting out less power, but they're still functioning. So we put them back here and, and put it in the paper that, you know, for $20, you can come pick up as many solar panels as you want. And those panels that are either broken or unusable? Al works with recycling companies that pick up those panels and ship them to recycling locations across the United States. The effort to recycle, however, has a cost. That led us to Marpan Recycling here in Tallahassee. They collect solar panels to be recycled at the price of $75 per ton. While they recycle parts of solar panels, specifically the glass, metal rings, wires, and boxes, Andrew Williams, Marpan president, tells us a neighboring business helps ship the rest of the panel's materials to be processed at another site in Atlanta, Georgia. And the only solar panels accepted at Marpan are those with non-hazardous materials. A lot of them are hazardous. They've got, some of them have cadmium, some of them have arsenic, some of them have multiple different um, metals in them that, you, that are considered hazardous. While Marpan doesn't currently have the resources to recycle many solar panels due to their hazardous materials, there are businesses that can connect our neighborhoods to companies that can recycle them. That's where Emily O'Leary, CEO of Green Clean Solar, comes in. You want to do the right thing, but then you may not have the local resources to support you. Her company is just over two years old, based in Marietta, Georgia, but she works with people and businesses all over the country, helping to find a solution for them when they're solar panels reach the end of their lives. We coordinate all these logistics from the, the material to the people, to the equipment, to the trucks, to the recycler. She encourages those going solar to keep in mind the higher cost of recycling panels compared to the easy solution of trashing them. Just as there have been incentives created to encourage neighbors to go solar, she acknowledges... People want to do the right thing. Let's give them an incentive, whether it's a couple dollars per panel, but I think that would go a long way. It's clear that solar energy will be relied on much more heavily over the next couple of decades, which means more waste that needs to be disposed of properly and recycled. I'm first to know meteorologist Riley Winch in northwest Tallahassee, ABC 27.